The Life and Sad Ending of Martina McBride Martina McBride was born Martina Maria McBride on July 29, 1966 in Sharon, Kansas, United States. Contemporary country singer Martina McBride rose to stardom in the late 90s, starting with a more traditionalist approach and later moving into the more pop-friendly territory. She was born Martina Maria Schiff in 1966 in Medicine Lodge, Kansas, and discovered country music through her father, who led a local band called the Shifters. By her teen years, she was singing and playing keyboards with the Shifters, and after high school, she gigged about Kansas with several different bands. She married soundman John McBride, and in 1990, the couple moved to Nashville, where John worked for artists like Charlie Daniels and Ricky Van Shelton. Martina, meanwhile, worked as a demo singer and enlisted her husband to produce her demo tape, which got her signed to RCA in 1991. Around the same time, John was hired as Garth Brooks's production manager, which helped land Martina an opening slot on tour with Brooks. Her debut album, The Time Has Come, was released in 1992, offering a set of songs indebted to traditional honky-tonk and progressive-minded country folk. The pop-inflected 1993 follow-up, The Way That I Am, was her commercial breakthrough with the lead single, My Baby Loves Me, zooming up the country charts to the number two position. The affecting story song, Independence Day, became something of a signature member, and another single, Life Number no. 9, also reached the top ten. McBride's 1995 follow-up, Wild Angels, gave her a second top five hit in Safe in the Arms of Love, and its title track became her first ever number one single. Released in 1997, Evolution became her first top 10 country album, and the Jim Brickman duet, Valentine, not only went top 10, but crossed over to become her first big hit on the adult contemporary charts. Evolution went on to spawn two number two hits, Happy Girl and Whatever You Say, and two number one hits, A Broken Wing and Wrong Again and sold over 2 million copies, launching McBride into the top rank of country stardom. She issued a Christmas album in late 1998 and returned with a proper follow-up, Emotion, in 1999. Its lead single, I Love You, hit number one on the country charts and also crossed over to adult contemporary radio. And the follow-ups Love's the Only House, There You Are, and It's My Time were all successful as well. The first two also reached the top 10. The Greatest Hits compilation, released in 2001, was the first McBride album to the top the country charts and sold well enough to make the pop top five as well. It contained four new tracks, all of which were eventually released as singles. Blessed hit number one, When God Fear and Woman Get the Blues and Where You Would Be both reached the top 10. The self-titled Martina, from 2003, celebrated womanhood, while 2005's Timeless was a collection of country classics. Both became top 10 album hits, the latter reaching number three. Waking Up Laughing appeared in 2007 from RCA Records. The CD-DVD set Live in Concert was issued in 2008, followed by Shine in 2009 from RCA. McBride next moved to the Republic Nashville label, which released her 11th studio album, the aptly named Eleven, in 2011. Returning to the studio at the end of 2013, McBride started recording her 12th album, 2014's Everlasting. Produced by Don Was, Everlasting was a departure that found McBride singing mainly soul and R&B covers, including Aretha Franklin's Do Right Woman, Do Right Man, and The Supremes' Come See About Me and featured a duet with Kelly Clarkson on Etta James's In the Basement. The album appeared on Cobalt Records in April 2014, debuting at number one in Billboard's country albums charts. In 2015, McBride signed to Nash Icon, Scott Borchetta's imprint for veteran country artists. Produced by Dan Huff and Nathan Chapman, she made her debut for the label with 2016's Reckless, a Christmas album It's the Holiday Season arrived in 2018. In 2020, the country icon appeared on the hit songwriting competition television series Songland, 
where she chose to record the Hallie Woodridge penned Girls Like Me as her new single. Her mother, Verla Jean Delano Schiff, March 13, 1935 to January 10, 2020, died after emergency heart surgery at the age of 84. The most unfortunate human thing is not being properly cared for and compensated, but we know that the laws of nature will not be able to deny that truth. Let's continue to live and promote your knack for latecomers. Thank you for everything.